My name is Pilar, I am 6 years old, and I am not ashamed of my faith. Today, I'm going to tell you what Jesus is doing today right now. Do you know what he's doing right now? After Jesus rose from his grave from a very, very long time ago, he appeared to his disciples and many other people. After 40 days, he took his disciples to a very high mountain. And then he told them, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I command you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. And then do you know what happened? Jesus went up to heaven and sat down with God the Father. The followers of Jesus have been spreading the gospel, following God's word. But what is Jesus doing now? The first thing he's doing is ruling. Jesus is God, so he knows everything and controls everything. Even though he left the earth, he told the disciples, All authority on heaven and earth had been given to me. That means he's stronger than anything, and he won't let anything happen to us that he doesn't know about. The second thing he's doing now is Jesus told us that he cares for even the smallest sparrow and the lilies in the field. So of course he cares about you and me. Even from heaven, Jesus knows what we need and he gives us those things. But Paul said, My God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory. Jesus gives you more than what you ask for and more what you think about. The third thing he's doing is interceding. That means bringing our prayers to the Father. Intercede means to go between. Because Jesus knows what we need, what we want, and our temptations, He goes between us and God, carrying our prayers to the Father. When Jesus died on the cross, He became the way for us to go to a holy God. And that's why we pray in Jesus' name. The fourth thing He did for us is advocating. That means supporting us. When we sin and ask for forgiveness, Jesus reminds the Father of His work on the cross. And even though when Satan tells us that we did something wrong, Jesus defends us and the Father forgives us when we ask Him to. And lastly, the fifth thing He does is help us. He helps us to be right with God by guiding our thoughts to love God and to be patient with others. Jesus also sent the Holy Spirit to live in us, and this helps us live a very holy life. He always wants to help us do right. All we need to do is ask Him. Nice pictures and videos with Pilar. Ching, chocolate, ching!